Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yoshuli back with that video and today we're gonna be doing some fame out off lane and I have a pretty like competitive build to show off. This is gonna be one of those builds that I think is gonna be the best one to one on fame out off lane the most. And I can say this with confidence because um in the last PCC tournament we saw a certain player by the name of Violence that showed his violence that day and actually ran down the off lane really well with his fame out build. Cause like it's like it's always really disheartening for me to see just everyone defaulting to Sevlog off lane. I think that's just really boring. I, I kinda wanna see more spicy matchup that doesn't involve Sevlog. And so like the okay. So the counter hero to Sevwalk on the tournament was actually Fey Mel. And so it's actually kind of cool that we actually have a Sevwalk offlane because we could, we'll be able to really kind of show just how good Fey Mel is at really just shutting down the Sevwalk and just making the game like unplayable for him. And so like the build that we're going to go, it's actually pretty much identical to like the Trend Blast build. It's the reason why um, Fey Mel has been really strong Trim Blast is um, still doing really strong because it's build pass it's actually really good at the moment that is like the mind racer into pain reaver in terms of the perforator it gives you everything you want no mana issues a lot of weight pushing power a lot of bonus physical power and you just get that nice juicy armor shred on top of a slow on your ability head so it just gives you a lot a lot of like really great utility stats you want on these more assassin high damage burst builds So definitely, we're going to be um, in this matchup against Sevwalk. You just want to bully him out of lane as much as you can. Like looking for your passive trade, looking for your E trading. So I'm going to do it right now. You see it right there? I always shunk him pretty dang good. And uh, that was a really quick trade that he just can't do anything about. I'm actually going to shield a little bit because I pushed that wave in a little bit faster than I like because now... It's not going to go towards me, uh, it's going to go towards this tower, which is always a little risky when you're dealing with a um, jungle side west side, but honestly, it's fine because it's Sarah's jungle. Her level 2 games are actually pretty bad, I would say. There we go, we're already putting a lot of pressure. We're pretty healthy because the shield is just really good. Um, for like soaking up damage for free. Not for free, it costs mana, but like it just makes his trade like Fema has really fast trading and he can take damage because he gets the shield. Don't use it too much early game just because until I get mind reason, my mana consumption could be a little bit on the more limiting side. And yep, we see Sailor's trying to go for level 2 gank, but it's honestly really weak. Like I'm really not scared of the Sailor gank. The only thing I'm worried about is like a several root and then they kind of get on top of me when I don't have level 3 yet. But I get level 3 here and just one more minion so I'm not going to be worrying into this issue at all anymore. There we go. Let's actually hit this wave a little bit because I don't want this to crash in so I'm going to opt to um, trim this wave a little bit. There we go. See how like he's getting very low health mana and we're still very good in health. We still have a potion and we still have plenty of mana to go around. So this might be have to be an early back potential for Sevwark because I'm gonna just be able to really just like not him walk up and can kind of get a nice freeze going on right here. Sure use E but like he's gonna run out of mana eventually because you always see how low he is getting at the moment. So he's actually looking to back off. Let's push this wave out fast. Because I want to go on tier buff and melee and take it for myself. There we go. It go the wave is going to be set to neutral. It won't push out as far as I like. But I'll be able to like... It's going to be a little close. Several might be able to one straight at us. But I'm pretty confident we can just last hit it still. Yep, we took down no farm at all. He's got to stop by backs, honestly. So I'm actually like not looking to really stay in lane that much. So I'm going to look to just... I'll take damage from him, but I don't care because my goal is to just farm this wave a little bit before I back off. Again, just knowing his damage because I'm just... My only concern is pushing this wave out.
Because I mean, Seros is gonna just be able to like um, defend it anyways. So I'll just say I'll be right back. He's not gonna be the question in just immediately. I might lose some minions, but I'll be able to come back with my first component. And you actually want to build out mine waste at first. Normally. Um, you used to like just build mine waste a second, but because of how powerful this cleave item is when you fully unlock it, you just go first because then I have no problem just clearing that wave so so fast, right? There we go, we cleared that pretty good on the tower. Not wish not sure where the set lock is at, but um if he's just trying to Gank and beauty and mess he's wasting his time in all honesty. He might back for brimstone, that's why it seems like he was going for. So he's gonna have a little bit of training pattern, but like with double the CES, we're all gonna get level 6 before him. We're definitely doing really good, especially with we have a component. Yeah, he has brimstone. We have a component, so we are gonna be able to be a lot more aggressive because with all the extra men up, we can just get a lot, a lot more aggressive on top of him. Like I'm gonna sort it out because I know he wants to eat that cannon. Yep, predictable. I have a pretty big minion wave finish, so I'm actually gonna get really aggressive on him. I want him to try to get his um, RMB out. There we go. He's not on the kill range ultimate just yet, but he's definitely getting very close already, as you guys see. Because now the wave is gonna be bounced back closer to me. I can kind of like let this like um, fully push to my wave. And while throwing off the set bar. That's like the main thing. You have so much pressure to like just go in on him. Okay. I mean they're not gonna they're gonna do damage to me. It kinda sucks, but I won't have to commit a blink. It's a big thing. Enemy tower under siege. Because even if I do get camped by the sails, I always have very great mobility. It's a little hard to go on that because Sev Sevoir still have bling. If anything, we're just um, he's applying pressure to this um, Sevoir, so now we're both more equalized in health. So I can do I have the back because I don't feel as threatening anymore. Yes, Sevoir has six. We don't take that. Oh no, it's level four. I read that one. I know Sales is. Hmm. I, I, this is weird. Like, the enemy teams are not actually committing to a game at the moment. Because I'm trying to bait it, but not make it look too obvious, right? Like, I'm really trying to bait this out for my. Alright, now Sales is trying to bait me, right? But I know. Yeah. Very nice bait. Nice. Kinda sucks we both blink right there, but getting that double kill was very good for us. Face you, I'll just on be out. Unless she has blink, she cannot catch up to us. So very nice job by the Sarah. She was, she was being really patient. Um, that took way longer than it needed to for that to happen. It's just the enemy team didn't... It seemed like they were taking way too long to sign in one debate or not. Because I was trying to step forward enough to where Sarah could technically go on me if you want to but she didn't like actually commit till like the very last second as you guys saw so patience do pay off um so definitely that's it's just like if you wait around too long like that enemy duo then you're actually gonna get um punished for that so very good my jungle to stick around um, for that whole engagement i really want that juicy tube but i don't want to break my freeze so I'll just keep an eye on that, see if they were trying to do it, and then I'll go to contest him on it. I think Sevoir still has his blink up, so it may not be as easy to still kill him because um, he can. He's very elusive, has his ultimate, and has a blink still to go along with that, so might have to play this a little patiently. 
to try to see if we can get another kill on him. But we still have a lot of push, especially now we finish our mine wave, so we can clear waves out really fast and look to get pretty aggressive on the um seven wall pretty easily enough. Yep, we're still like very up in CS. And all we're doing is we're just throwing up from the wave because Sevark that doesn't farm, it's a sad Sevark indeed. I'm actually gonna shove this out because it's gonna crash, but I don't want it to crash right before it hit the turn. I want it to crash into the turns. Yep, so uh, he's gonna stop at last second, but uh, since he's committing abilities, I'll be able to take the seal buff and won't have anything to steal it from me. There we go. And now since he instantly cleared that wave, the wave is going to slowly push back to me um, for the most part. And then we're going to play the nether game where well, the only way that I can last is with his E, but that's very inefficient when you can't be no more like using his Q on the wave. And I'm gonna go let him walk up because I do want to place down wood so we can track this sales jungle a little bit better and for when mid lane decides to come gank. See right there, we see the sales now on this left side. And look at that, we're already kind of giving half HP. Um, we're just using our passive to really bully him out lane. Because technically, Bane Mob did got nerfed, his passive got nerfed so it's not as high. It's, it says scales as the game goes on. But as you can see, it still shrunks him pretty hard. We know the, the sales jungle is right there. Um, so I won't be using my army anytime soon. That's my only way to really get out if they decide to try and gank me. And we do see the sails right there. And there we go. Now we go on this. Kill it pretty easily. Is my jungle alive? Yes. And that's definitely worth it. Again, my jungle is doing a very good job responding to these um, ganks by the sails. Um, oh no, he messed up his um, RMB and has to blink. He doesn't have the blink because he got the wood off, but he uh, he just looks like he just panicked really hard. And look at that, that's what I mean. Like we literally just instantly the wave with my razor. It's the big big thing about this item. So we have a first evolution. Um I really want to get um like wait, he's I'm gonna just try he's getting low. I'm gonna see, see if he's gonna be greedy enough to stay. Well, thank you Sevar for getting this 5 cam low enough for me. That's a nice juicy 5 cam um, that the Sevar just set up very nicely for you, surely. But as I was trying to say, you want to go like next for his quest 90% of the time, but we get to Faye, and Faye is someone we want to constantly die, but we can't do that if we're going to get ulted by her and blown up. So I kind of, I want to go Witch Stalker oh, just for it. I want to wipe out a stupid Faye ultimate kill, killing me, right? I, that means that I can go on this um, Faye whenever I want to without worry of being CC like that. Oh nice, she didn't even need me right there. I'm gonna look to back off after I get my juicy tier buff. It's my one my second favorite buff in our flame. My first one being the jungle blue buff because I, then I get the fun puma. An enemy tower is under attack. I might lose some minions because he's gonna push that in pretty nicely, but this is actually a worse back to get quests and spend my 2500 gold. So let's get Wish Darker. And now we're gonna get Pain Weaver right here as our second item. There we go. Just like Mind Razor allows us to like just be able to spam and build this on repeat and just get it's a very nice asset because of the passive. And so what Pain Weaver provides is physical penetration, the ability haste, that's really good on Fame Mal, but also just the fact you get movement speed, so Fame Mal is always stupidly elusive with his base kit, now we get an item that just enables his mobility even more so. I just realized that Sevar's offlane name is Mr. Lonely, which is actually kind of very, very fitting for an offlane no kind of name, so I get props to um, Sevar for that, that's actually really fun, fitting name for the offlane role. 
because but because I said I will take mid, I'm gonna get a free T1 town on the left side. That's some a lot of extra gold right there, so I can start to like snowball more and more so. And since I clear waves instantly like this, I can like already pressure this T2 tower. A lot of offlaners like they can clear wave decently, but not as absurdly fast as female can, especially with mine races. So because of the fact that I um, instantly clear that wave like that, I'll almost will be able to get the T1 tower left side. Um, but I won't be able to go on that aim more. And honestly, like, he has no way to knock us back in the spare so we just kind of like, just walk back slowly but surely. So let's back because getting this Pain Reaper, it's going to be actually really good for us. Just getting a bunch of free stats and the movement speed is really good. And so our third item that you always want to go in this build is going to be the Perforator. Because it's just, it's just a... No, it's like a um, physical pen item that you want on Fame Moss, especially against like a um, tanky dude that is Civ Walk. But also, it's, you give it slow on this, so it makes your like ability slow down people even more so. And it's just really good, good just locking down people and going for killing blows. I'm going mid, by the way, because it seems like they might need me for this fight. Oh, that's actually cool. Blink by her, but I still kind of just do this. Kill her, no problem. Yep. And because I have movement speed, I can kind of... Maybe catch up? Nah, I can't, because the thunk will get me. If he didn't land the thunk, that would have been a quadra by yours surely in the mid lane. I'm just kind of really strong at the, this point in the game. And I think we haven't took fainters yet, so let's see if we can maybe do it. Because I do a lot of damage to it. We don't have jungler, but I think we can get it before people come and check over. Yeah, I don't think they know. Nice. And by the way, like, Wish Talk is not only good for, like, the lens component, but also if you read on the description of this item. I, I don't want to go on that, which reads. Because I'm, like, really low. I won't be able to help out. But for Wish Talker, you actually heal um, when you do cleanse stuff or, like, when you get it off. So you actually get a pretty fast chunk of HP back. That's actually pretty significant on squishy targets like Fame Mao and Assassins in general. So I use it in that fight right there just to get some HP back so I don't get too low to be killed off. We can attack why I'm here. We can definitely go on this. So let's see if we can get a Gideon ultimate. I'm gonna go on the spell first because I know she doesn't have the item. Get my ult reset right there. Oh my god, that was a fat um <laughs> Gideon Q and a half, guys. He literally just got a double kill with that one single Q. Love to see it guys. Cause like it's just like the enemy team decided they want a death ball and tried to get killed on enemy team, but I, because I back, I'm I just went straight back to right, straight up. Like that's the thing I kind of noticed is people try to force fights too fast because they know like I'm backing that if they decide that they want to go on the bug and right side, then I can just run straight over. I'm not push through pushing the left side will be taking me too long for me to get there. I'm literally just right there, away looking. Oh, maybe push on a little bit too much. This kind of, we're just kind of limited seeing with how things are going, but obviously not ideal because I gave a shutdown right there. Because yeah, we're kind of like, we're taking back to back fights, so that's my bad. That's definitely my bad, but we got the right hammer to down. We have the first faint too, so it's not like um, we're in a really bad spot. Because who got the kill? So I think Sparrow um, got the kill on me. Is she actually strong? Uh, I guess she might be a problem, but I literally can just blow up pretty easily. Um, especially since I'll be able to get perforated right here as my third item.
Right now, I'm taking my blue buff because honestly, I think it's better to go on for me just so I can just constantly just like look to just keep spawning down left side and just keep spamming abilities on repeats. So since white is always going to push by itself, I should be split pushing left to try really just split the team apart, but also look at mid. So my team is doing a good job pushing mid because white is going to push by itself no matter what. So they should constantly look to keep pressuring these all three lanes is what we should be doing now. So that tower is almost gone. So I was just going to get the kill. Nice, nice. Looks like I'm gonna go help the Sarahs, but I gotta like, I can't completely ignore the server. But never mind, my game, my teammates are actually kind of gaming. Alright, well thank you for the little boost so I can just go back to my teammates. I appreciate the help. So we should honestly look to push mid, because white right is pushing, left is pushing. We can also get a T2 tower, and that's just going to really, really open up the map. Even more so than this. You know what? We can maybe try to force this in. Like, we have some time to bust this down. Because the only reason why Fame Out is really good is because he actually does a lot of damage to turrets. So it makes him really good at shredding through these turrets like no tomorrow. There we go. Hmm. I looked at Soy. Wait, I have Wish Doctor. Well, never mind, she misses it. So, if she. Obviously, if the Fade doesn't land the Wish Doctor, then you don't have to use it, right? I can't push it sadly anymore because um, I'm kind of too, too low HP and Savog is um, pretty healthy at the moment so we can't push that anymore but what I can do is maybe grab the left wave really quick because I want my little extra gold and then we can look to back off and get our force item. So after you force um, item this is where your build becomes pretty flexible I would say in terms of what you want because you have everything you want in the three items That's why you always see this I'm being one around nowadays because they just give you everything you want in any matchup So what I want to try to get is Stonewall only because like I have enough damage to burst down people But I am lacking a little survivability especially since Sarah's and Sparrow is slapping hard so going Stonewall can really negate a ton of damage from them. It's actually kind of ridiculous how you can just get one item and all of a sudden you become super tanky against physical damage. So that's what um, we're going to be trying to do right here. Do we actually, and we have enough stackly for Stonewall so we can just show off exactly what I mean. And so obviously after this we can go back to more our normal items so like a tech item can be as absolution for the CC they have also it's just an it helped me do more damage technically at the same time. So a very good way to kind of run out this build with going Absolution last. I'm sorry Dr. Sponge, but I am going to set my eyes on you for today. Uh, I won't waste my time, actually. I'm gonna go look to see if we can maybe set this wave up. I think it's gonna take too long to go um, to her, whereas I can just kind of maybe look at the spare potentially. That's a death spell right there, because we just do a ton of burst damage, as you guys see. So it's just the fact that I can do this much damage while still only having. I'm gonna use my ultimate right there because it's about the one now, so I don't want to give up a free ability damage source right there.
It's definitely an interesting game, I'll say that. For some reason, Sevwa didn't realize that I'm actually low, and just me being fame out of things, even though I don't have mana, I can still slowly just walk out of here. Let me just walk past this way. Oh, he gave up away. Nice. So you can see, like, even though we um, went for Stormwall, we still do plenty of burst damage, and the difference is we're much more tankier. Um, it's a trade off right here. So let's get ourselves Absolution for the CC and all that stuff we might be throwing out of the way. So let's go with this for now. Since I should be gone pretty soon, I want to see if Faye's still pushing it. She is, so let's actually stop running towards her already. We don't have Wistalkers, so... It may be too much wasted time to chase her when she ults us and she actually um, stops us from like, going after her. But honestly, I'm not scared of the damage looking at her items. Back up merely because if she does ult me, spell can turn me and do some nice, some nice things to your shield. So I won't take that necessary risk. So unnecessary net risk. So let's go. We this left lane push up so we can actually get the inhibitor off this. I don't think we got the left inhibitor ever. So it's actually a live turn. It's not dead like the mid middle one. So I need to actually push a wave in to take this down. She should all way earlier because I definitely do a lot of um, damage as you guys see right there. Just a little poke damage, just try to wear him down slowly but surely. And this, um, she's going kinda ham. Okay, that's just an alt away. Let's actually go turn the save lock. Okay, that's just a flash. I started to do have ultimate, so it's hard for me to finish off this um spell. So I probably just have to play. I, I'm gonna let the um flying buff heal me back up, and I look to we re kind of re-engage here. So I'm still kind of hovering. I really want to go in and finish off the ultimate, but it seems a little bit too risky with just like everyone just looking at me like that. And I don't have all my HP back just yet. Mm, I guess we'll just go for Faintus. I mean, um, we, we don't have anyone here. We don't have Prime Buff anymore. Oh, I actually still have it. It's just gonna take a while. I just say, well, I just really just want to keep Devin King. And the only reason why he's still alive is because he just keeps running back to Falcon. Just regen back up. So this game does for Faintus is honestly fine because I don't know why. He's not gonna be able to take this. Because my sale is just life suit um to kill the kill right there. Yeah, that's actually kinda of cool because now I wanna go on the sales. Don't need his ultimate because I just kill like that. Again, stonewall, but we still do a lot of burst damage as you guys see here. Very nice stuff, and now we can look to just end the game off that play, so... I'm not sure why I said what well, decides he wanted to play the hero, when it's obvious that he just can't do anything about that. And that's like just a wish shocker tech. By purely just having that item, we can actually... Let me give me a sec. GG's. And I'm like at the top of the screen, that's kind of why I say I was trying to like line up, see if I can just get to the very top of the screen but yeah no that's why we go with stalker because it just allow us to just w key fade without fear of being altered as long as we just can cleanse it right 
So we didn't necessarily need it for the non batch. We didn't need it for like the Sevwa. We, need, we needed it all in just so we can use it every time we want to go kill the Fae. And it, even if she has all, we just cleanse it and just kind of one her down, right? So that's just kind of how you do it, guys. So it's kind of crazy. Like I know it like got really fed and all that stuff, but the fact that we won't go into full um, assassin build technically we built stonewall which that could have been a assassin item like 40 physical power 12 physical penetration kind of whatever but we still just delete people and that's why i take take into consideration of next because a big part of famous burst damage and it's just being able to next on um, people to really just like secure kills and so like um not having next that game hurt our dps a little bit um quite a bit i would actually say in terms of busting out people and executing them with our ultimate but despite not having that and going for stonewall we do easily top damage numbers in this game so this is what I mean. Um, this is actually the most competitive build, the best build to one on Fame Mount at the moment, in my opinion. But I say it's my opinion because I'm always like want to be on the side of like this is just my objective opinion of a kill to strange, a kill just like meta plays. But I think that it's just ninety nine percent sure that this is literally just the best way to do it. I mean, you see, you see the. Um, PCC tournament people win this build, or most of violence win this build, and he literally just took over offlane to the point where they actually had to bend out his fame out a couple of times or try to steal it away from him. So needs to say, in the most competitive level, this build slaps really hard in the offlane, and you guys see in this game that it was just really easy for me to do whatever I want. Because I do do fun builds, and um, I always have to like play like in a certain way or play try harder because fun builds are not always the most competitive builds and so like when do i do actually play a competitive serious um top-notch build it, it just becomes really easy for me to just get this really kind of being of game go in the first try like this as you guys see but yeah definitely let me know how you th what you think of fame mount because they definitely kind of try to nerf him a bit with the passive but i still think his early game is still very strong as you guys seen from just being able to really pressure the save walk and just being able to do just fame out things and Again, I think um, much like how with Trimblast is like really strong, even though he got nerfed, it's I think it's literally because Trimblast is still good because Mind Razor, Pain Weaver, this like three core item, Mind Razor, Pain Weaver, Perforator, it's just honestly really, really good on kill just as well as the fourth. So for Fame Mount Trimblast, they both are really good healers still because they have this build that's actually really good on them at the moment. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know let me know down in the comments where the heroes, where the builds from me um showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.